Hello and welcome to this video tutorial on how to repoint reports to new universities. Uh, first of all we're just going to bring up our business objects report. So open your 6.5 business objects report as normal. Um, this one's um, been purged, it's, it's got no data in. The first thing you need to look at is you need to look for this little icon called view data which brings up the data manager window. You can also find that under data and view data and that brings up this data manager window. You can see your data providers, etc. You have these two tabs, results tab and definition tab. So the results tab is blank because there's no data in the report. Sometimes you might see data in here, but if you click the definitions tab, here's where you can see um, your query name. You can, so you can change your query name, but most importantly, this is the universe here that that query name is on. So if you've got multiple queries, query two, query three, query four, you're going to need to change the universe for each each one of those queries. And to do that, if you click the little bu uh, button that's got three little dots, this brings up a list of universes. Okay, I have quite a few in my list, so I'm just going to click the list and I'm going to press I because I'm looking for the, if you notice on the previous screen, we're on IRB phase two universe, we're looking for the IRB phase five. I'm going to press I to so jump to the, all the universes with I. And we can see here, that the file name is IRB phase 5, PHA5, the same as PHA2, uh, and the long name of the universe, IRB 5.1 universe, and this says test in brackets because it's currently a test universe. Um, that may be overwritten to live once it goes uh, once it goes live on the 17th of May. Uh, and it's as simple as hitting OK. So you see that it's updated there, phase five. So if I've got any more queries, I'll update those queries as well. If there's any problems with your report and the current universe, any conflict issues with objects that maybe don't exist in the new universe, at this point it will actually flash up and, and give you an error message uh, telling you that um, your current report's incompatible with the new universe. In that instance, that um, you can uh, contact the um, project team or ourselves and we'll help you uh, fix that. Uh, if I just hit OK, another thing to look at, if you actually go into your data provider, so that's actually this icon, it's next to the view data window and it's uh, on the right hand side of your refresh button. One thing to look at if your report doesn't work is if you come in here and just check the SQL button, if this SQL do not generate uh, SQL before running is ticked. Um, that's not going to take the new changes into effect. Um, you might not want to untick that because someone might have built that report with custom um, SQL to make that report work. So again, in that instance, if uh, if your report's not working when you hit refresh, just check this little tick box. And if that's the case, again, highlight it to the project team or to us. Um, for this, I'm going to take the tick box out because I know I can do that. Hit OK. And if I just press run, you'll see that this report now updates on the IRB5 universe, so there's actually no problems there whatsoever. Um, using the view data, you can see that I pulled back 2,740 rows, whereas the previous execution, there was one row less, and that was done on the Phase 2 universe. Um, so check your report, make sure you're absolutely happy with it. And uh, again, feedback, any uh, any error message or problems back to the project team. And our group email address, just in case you need it, is vmbusinessobjects at virginmedia.co.uk. That'll come back to the business objects team who are working with the project uh, to get all these all these um, reports repointed. Okay, thanks for thanks for watching.